Hi guys, welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carmen, welcome. So I recently did a video on the negative characteristics of all of the numbers in numerology, all of the numbers one through nine, and now it is master number 11's turn. So we're gonna find out in this video what are the negative characteristics of the master number 11. And we're also gonna find out what some of the positive characteristics are too. So we're talking about the good and the bad of master number 11 in this video. But before we do that, if you are excited to watch this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna book a reading with me, I will leave the information to that below in the description box. So let's get into it. What is the dark side of master number 11 in numerology? Let's find out. So 11 is a master number, and the master numbers are different than the other numbers because we do not add the two digits together. We just keep them as two digit numbers. All other numbers in numerology, we add the numbers together until we get a single digit. But if you get an 11 or a 22 or a 33, you do not add the two digits together because these are master numbers and they hold the vibration of two digits. So these are different numbers than all the other numbers. And so we're gonna talk about the positives and the negatives of master number 11. We're gonna talk about the positives first. So I want you to imagine that all numbers are on a spectrum. And on one end of the spectrum, we have all of the positive characteristics of that number. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we have all of the negative characteristics of that number. And most people fall somewhere on the spectrum. Most people tend to fall in the middle of the spectrum. And so we're going to go over the positive characteristics of the master number 11 first. So 11 is different than all other numbers in numerology. It's even different than the two other master numbers. And that's because 11 holds the vibration of an odd number and it also holds the vibration of an even number. Because if you add the two ones together, you get a two and two is an even number. And we are not supposed to add the two ones together because it is a master number, but it still holds the energy of the number two, which is an even number. But 11 also holds the vibration of an odd number because 11 is an odd number. And so this makes it very unique because it has the qualities of an odd number and it has the qualities of an even number at the same time. And then also because it holds the vibration of the one energy, because as you can see, there are two ones in the master number 11, but it also holds the energy of the number two. Because of this and because of its odd and even number vibration, 11s are typically very, very compatible with most numbers. So 11s tend to go really well with all of the other numbers and they tend to be very compatible with all of the other numbers. So there are very few numbers that this number does not go well with. So because 11 is a master number, 11 is special in that regard because people with this number tend to come down here to master something about themselves. So the master numbers are all meant to have a great impact on the world. And people with this number come down here to make a great impact on the rest of the world. They're here to learn something about themselves and they're here to master something about themselves, but they are also here to be great teachers and to help other people master things about themselves as well. So the master numbers all tend to have that in common with them where they are meant to have a great impact on the world in some sort of way. And because of that, people with this number tend to be very old souls. So this is not their first lifetime. So if you have master number 11, somewhere in your core chart is one of your four core numbers. And especially if master number 11 is your life path number, then you are probably an old soul and this is not your first lifetime. And you have probably had many, many lifetimes before. A master number would not be given to somebody who is experiencing their first lifetime. So, so if you have a master number 11, then you are definitely an old soul. Now, time is not linear, but um, speaking in terms of linearness, because that's the way we see things as humans, we see time as being linear. 
in that regard, if you are a master number 11, then this is probably one of your last lifetimes, if not your last lifetime, because you came down here to master something about yourself and you came down here to make a great impact on the world in some sort of way. And think of it as kind of like we are all working on degrees because Earth is kind of like a university for all souls to learn. And we're all working on degrees, but the master numbers are working on like higher level degrees than other people. They're working on more challenging degrees. They're working on like master's degrees and they're working on like PhDs. So their degrees are gonna be a little bit more challenging than other people's. And for that reason, sometimes their lives can be more challenging as well. But 11s are here to make a great impact on the world and they are here to bring illumination to other people. So often you will see life path number 11s or people with the 11 in their chart in very high up positions. You will often see celebrities with this number. Um, it's meant to be a number that is very visible to other people because it is meant to bring illumination to certain issues. and. Um, it's also a number that is meant to inspire other people. So often you will see leaders, presidents, um, you will see singers. Uh, a lot of famous singers throughout our history have been Life Path number 11s. Madonna, Mariah Carey. These are people that have inspired a lot of other people through their music. And it's very common for other people to want to imitate 11s. So you will see this a lot. People will try to imitate 11s because they are so inspired by them and they want to be like them. Very, very common to see famous people with this number because they're meant to be more visible to the world because they're bringing inspiration to the world and they're bringing illumination to the world in some sort of way. And even if they don't become famous, they still have a very important mission while they are down here and they can still greatly inspire people in whatever position they are in their lives. So even if they don't become famous, um, they are meant to do something of great significance and of great importance in the world in their own regard, whatever that may be. Either that or they were meant to do something unique and original that nobody has ever done before because one is the number of originality and the number of uniqueness and the 11 has two ones in it. But because they are here to inspire people and to bring illumination, it is very easy for these people to become famous and to become very well known. And often the universe will work with them and will help them to succeed and to make that happen because they are a master number and so they are meant to do something of great impact in the world or something unique and original that has not been done before. So sometimes 11s will face more challenges, but they also can rise up a lot more quickly than the other numbers can. They're kind of like the rising phoenix. So sometimes in life, things will happen to them and will bring them down and they will quickly overcome whatever circumstance they are in and they will overcome whatever adversity they're in and they will rise up very quickly. And that's meant to happen to them because they are meant to teach other people from their experiences. So sometimes things will happen to them that are challenging and they will overcome those difficulties and those great obstacles. And the universe will use their success stories and their inspirational stories to inspire other people. So that's very common with master number 11s. So sometimes um, those challenges that they go through, they're meant to happen so that they can rise up very, very quickly and overcome it, kind of like the rising phoenix and, you know, to inspire other people people and to bring illumination. And so 11s can have great challenges, but they can also have great achievement. Achievement at levels that the other numbers are not able to have. And 11s have the ability to manifest things much quicker than all of the other numbers. They are the masters of manifestation. If they really put their minds to it, they can achieve things that the other numbers cannot achieve. So they are the masters of manifesting. And if you look at the number 11, it kind of looks like a doorway. So it looks like a doorway. And if you walk through this doorway, it's kind of like going through a gateway into another world and into another reality. And that represents the spiritual world and the spiritual reality that is beyond our five senses, the spiritual world that is in the fifth dimension that we cannot see. 
so where spirit lives. And so that 11 represents that gateway and that porthole and that door that you walk through to get to the other realm, the other psychic spiritual realm. And so for this reason, 11 is a very, very psychic and a very spiritual number. Often people will see 1111 when they start to have a spiritual awakening. And when they start to wake up, they will start to see 1111. A lot of famous psychics and a lot of famous mediums throughout our history have been master number 11s. 11s are vibrating on a very high frequency and they have a great ability to connect over into the other side, to connect to the spiritual realm and to be able to tap into that psychic ability and to be able to be kind of like a bridge between our world and the spiritual world. And so often they will become mediums and they have that ability within them. Um, to bring messages over from the other side. And that great psychic ability that a lot of them have um, is another reason why they are great at manifesting things, um, why they are able to manifest things very quickly into their reality because they are more tapped into the spiritual world. So a lot of times 11s will have psychic abilities and sometimes they don't even know that they have these. Thoughts that coming into their mind that are not theirs, but it's just a knowing, like they have a knowing of something, which would be um, claircognizance. Sometimes they have clairvoyance, which is clear vision. They um, will have mental images of things. So they have a lot of psychic abilities. And they're also very intuitive as well because they have the energy of the number two, because if you add those two ones together, you get a number two. And so that makes them very intuitive. So not only do they have a lot of psychic abilities a lot of times, they also have the ability to sense what other people's feelings are and sense what other people's emotions are and sometimes even sense what they're thinking. And so they're very empathic in this way. Because they have that energy of the number two, they also tend to be very good counselors. And, you know, as I mentioned, they can be really good mediums. They can be very good counselors where they're really good at being diplomatic and bringing two sides together. And they're very good at counseling people and helping them to get through things and helping them to understand, you know, why things are going wrong. They're very empathic, intuitive, and they make great counselors. And because of these psychic abilities, whether they know it or they don't, whether they're aware of it or they're not, a lot of times these people are great healers. So just being around a master number 11 can heal a lot of people. Just being in your presence, people will be healed. And you might not even be aware of that. There is this energy within the master number 11 that is very healing. And just being around you, somebody can be healed. Um, and sometimes 11s don't even realize this. They don't realize the potential and the power that they hold within them with this master number. Now, 11 is a special number. Like I said, they have the energy of the number two, but they also have the energy of the one. And the 11 has not only the energy of the one, but it has double the energy of the number one because there's two ones in 11. <laughs> so they have a lot of qualities of the number one. So they have a lot of duality to them. You know, they have those qualities of the number two, and they also have the qualities of the number one. And such as being great leaders. So ones tend to be really good leaders. They know how to lead people. They know how to show people what to do and lead the way without pushing people around and without taking people's autonomy away from them. They tend to be really good leaders. And so 11s are really good at, at leading people and directing them and helping them to kind of direct themselves. Um, and 11s have the ability to lead people, but at the same time to bring them together and to counsel them with their great mediating and counseling abilities because of that number two energy. And often, you know, you will see presidents with this number. Ronald Reagan was a master number 11. And because of that double one energy, they also make very good innovators and they are very driven. And a lot of times they will they will innovate things, come up with things that have not been thought of before because of that double one energy. The num double one energy is very original and very unique. Now, typically what I see with master number 11s is that they tend to be more like twos and because they have that two energy. So they tend to be more like twos when they're children and when they're younger. But once they grow up, 
they kind of grow out of that and they become more like ones. Often because that double one energy wins out because there's two ones, a lot of times when they grow up, they will become more like the one energy. So it will switch over from the two kind of people pleaser energy. You know, twos are people pleasers and, you know, it's very important for them to be compatible with other people and to work well with other people. And eventually when they get older, they become more like the one, which is the leader. Um, but they still have those qualities of the two, even though um, they've grown into more of the one energy once they get older. And this is not the case for all number 11. Some 11s have more of the two energy and they kind of resonate more with being a two than a one. So it really just depends on who you are and you know, all 11s are different. So now we're going to talk about some of the negative characteristics of this number. And I want to say beforehand that not all 11s have these characteristics. I'm not saying that. This is just the negative end of this number. And most people have a few qualities on the positive side and a few qualities on the negative side. So um, let's go over what some of those negative qualities are. So because 11s are here to make a great impact on the world or in their world, you know, maybe their impact is not to be global, but their impact is going to be significant in their world that they belong to, and they have a great calling often, a lot of times 11s will have very extreme anxiety. So this is very, very common with them where they're anxious all the time. And anxiety is one of the most common things I see with 11s. They worry a lot. They worry about everything. They worry about the future. They worry about um, their situation. They can be very nervous at times. A lot of times their anxiety comes from the fact that they're vibrating on a very high level and they're getting information from the spiritual realms. Like I said, they're very psychic a lot of times. Um, they're getting downloads, they're getting information from spirit and um, from you know the spiritual realms and they don't realize this. And so they're getting this information and they're tapped into this other realm, which is you know the spiritual realm beyond our world that we live in, they're tapped into this and they don't realize it. And so they're getting all this information downloaded into them and it will cause extreme anxiety in them. Also, another common thing with them is experiencing extreme stress. So they put a lot of stress on themselves and that's because 11s have great expectations. They have really, really high expectations for themselves and they have really high expectations for their lives. And that's because subconsciously, they know that they were meant to do something significant in this lifetime. And they have been alive many times before, as I had mentioned um, with the positive characteristics of them. A lot of 11s are old souls. They have been alive many, many times before. They've had many lifetimes and they've experienced so many different things in many different lifetimes that they know what they're capable of doing. And they know that they're capable of achieving so much. And they know they were meant to come down here to do something of significance and to master something about themselves and to impact the world in some sort of way. And so they have set the bar really, really high for themselves. They have set the bar so high for themselves and they have such great expectations for themselves and their lives that a lot of times this causes them extreme stress. And that also causes them anxiety as well. So, you know, having such great expectations for yourself and your life. And a lot of times, you know, even if 11s are doing really, really well, they will still feel like they're not doing enough. Like there could be more that could be done, that they could be achieving so much more. And also because they have that double one energy and the, the double, you know, the ones want to be leaders. They want to do something different and unique and original and creative. And they have that double one energy. So this is a big thing thing for them. And if they feel like they are not living up to these great expectations and standards that they have for themselves, a lot of times they will experience extreme anxiety and extreme stress and worry. And because of these great expectations and this really high bar that they have set for themselves, a lot of times they will go through mental turmoil, a lot of mental turmoil. And because if they haven't met this high bar that they have set for themselves, they will become very worrisome and they will become very discontent. So discontentness is something that you will also see 
a lot with 11. So even if their life is going well, they still don't feel content completely. They feel like they could be doing more. And even sometimes these high expectations and this high bar that they have set for themselves, sometimes it can even lead to physical illness. So like I said, it causes extreme anxiety within them. It can cause extreme stress for them. And even at some times it can cause physical illness within them. So remember, 11s are really good at manifesting things. So that means that they are really good at bringing things and creating things into their reality. And that can be positive and it can also be negative too. So they are the masters of manifestation. And so they can manifest wealth, they can manifest fame, all kinds of things on the positive side. But on the negative side, if that anxiety and worry continues and that mental turmoil continues, sometimes this can lead to manifestation of physical illnesses within their body. That, you know, physical illnesses that they have manifested because of the stress and the anxiety that they have put onto themselves. So 11s really need to learn how to deal with this. They really need to find an outlet for their stress and their anxiety and they really need to work on this. Otherwise, it can lead to manifestation of physical illnesses within the body. Um, some other negative things about the number 11 is that because it has that double one energy, sometimes they can have an overinflated ego, a really big ego. And partially that's because deep within them, they know that they came down here to do something special and different and unique and something of significance. They, they kind of know this, even if they're not aware of it. And because of that, sometimes they do have um, a huge ego. And, you know, remember ones in general tend to have bigger egos, but 11s have the double energy of the one. So sometimes you will see this with them. And also, once again, because they have that two energy, they have some of the negative qualities of the two, which is that the two can be very um, dependent. And sometimes 11s can be very dependent. So they really crave to be in a relationship with another person. They, that's very important to them. They often will become dependent, very dependent on the other person that they're with. Being in a companionship, being in a relationship, a close significant relationship with somebody else can be very, very important to them. But sometimes on the negative side of this number, sometimes what will happen is because of that double one energy, Sometimes 11s will push people away from them. So they long to be in relationships and to have companionship because they have that two energy. But once they get into relationships, sometimes they will sabotage it and they will push people away from them because they have that double one energy. And ones are all about individuality and independence, remember. And because they have that double one energy, they will push people away sometimes and not even realize this the last negative qualities that sometimes you will see with the 11 is that they tend to be oversensitive and um, that's because they have that two energy they can be very oversensitive and their feelings can get hurt very easily and also sometimes they can be manipulative as well so instead of directly going to the person and um, telling them what they want they will try to go around the situation and kind of like manipulate that person into doing what they want and that's because of that two energy. Um, because, you know, like I said, a lot of the negative qualities that you'll see in the one and the two, you will see within the 11. And lastly, 11s tend to have more challenging lives than some of the other numbers. So they can have great achievements, but they can also have great challenges as well. So that is also probably one of the negative things about being an 11. Um, like I said, they're the rising phoenix, so they'll have great lows, but they'll also have really great highs. Sometimes their lows will be lower than other people's, but their highs will be so much higher than other people's also. And this is, like I said, this is a very unique number because this is the only number that is an odd number and also an even number too. So very, very special number and has a lot of duality to it. And this is actually one of my favorite numbers in all of numerology. I love this number and it's a very special number. So let me know in the comments below what you think about the dark side of master number 11. Do any of these characteristics resonate with you, the good or the bad? Can you identify with any of these characteristics? Let me know in the comments below. 
And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to check out my services, I will leave the information to that below in the description box. I would love to have you subscribe and to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. I am sending you light and love. Take care.